reception slash waiting area this is where our clients come in to kind of chill before their appointment we wanted to create like a really comfy cozy vibe detail wise we just have like our crystals our books um we love to just kind of create the ambiance and this was just a nice focal point to like the entry when you walk in you get to just come in and chill we really wanted the front desk to be another like big focal point of when you first walk in uh, we have the nice tile on the top, nice uh, sparkly marble, and then on the front you see the mosaic tile, um, ungrounded, so it kind of gives you that like unfinished kind of imbalanced look. Okay, so over here we have our refreshment station. Um, we just have water, coffee, um, excuse our little empty Nespresso pods, you can tell our clients really love it, it's always running low. And then over here, we have our nail station. This is where Danny is primarily working out of. She has all of her nail products on display here. We're still working on it, kind of hanging the final details, all that little stuff, but I'm super happy with it. Definitely come in and check her out for any gel services, gel manicure, structured gel, um, also gel X extensions, which I highly recommend. So come check her out Wednesdays and Saturdays. Here. All right, so over here we have room one, which is our primary waxing room. We wanted to go each room, have its own kind of vibe, its own kind of energy. So this is definitely more of, again, a pink one that's matching or mimicking in a way our old office. Um, so we have the accent, the neon lights, the little pink fringe lamp, the pink cheetah wallpaper. Over here we have room two, which again is used for facials, waxing, and lash extensions. Um, this room we wanted to go for a really like peaceful, serene vibe. So all of the color tones in here are like white, green, yellows, everything that kind of brings you calmness and serenity. Um, we do have our lash bed right here for lash overflow clients that we may have. Um, here's our bathroom, but I'm not gonna get into it now. I'll show you in a minute. And then around the corner right here, we have room three. Room three is used for primarily facials, but also body waxing and potentially lash extensions. It makes doing facials really, really nice in here because you get so much natural light. Um, and then we just went with like the gold accent mirror, a lot of white florals up in the hanging arrangement, and then a really simplistic accent wall in here to kind of balance out all the sun that you get. And then room four is my room back here. This room I want it to be super, super peaceful, really kind of dim lighting because we're away from the windows. Um, and just create its whole other little vibe. So in here we wanted to go with kind of a similar color to the wall paint. Um, wanted to go with like an abstract, really simplistic accent wall um, because there's a lot going on in here as far as decor and other things. So I kind of wanted to keep it simple. We do have these super high um, ceilings in here which makes it really nice for feeling super spacious. You don't feel really cramped. And we also kept the walls at the top exposed in all of the rooms so that it kind of felt cohesive and you didn't really ever feel like you were closed into a tiny room and just feel like uncomfortable. So we like the whole inclusivity of it all and just feeling really open in here. We had a little bit more room to play with in this room. So I was able to add this nice hallway table and really get into the details on this. Um, it really helped just like tie all the little things together. I was really focused on bringing different textures, kind of the same color tones, but mixing all the textures, having stone, wool, wood, just really kind of mixing it all together and trying to have it come together as far as color wise. And here we have our nice moon light, which everyone loves so much. And this is where you're standing actually would be the point of view of the client. So this is what you'd see when you open your eyes after your service. I feel like it's really nice and peaceful. We call this the moon room for obvious reasons. But yeah, this room is super chill, really cozy, and just feels super tucked away and really just cozy vibes. All right, so for the bathroom, I wanted to create kind of a different vibe than the rest of the space. Um, our old space actually had a ton of pink themes in it, so I wanted to bring the pink back in somewhere in this space. Um, so I chose the pink subway tile on the backsplash behind the sink and then I also paired it with like kind of a Beverly Hills-esque wallpaper on the ceiling um, which was really annoying to do by the way but 
it just tied everything together the pink and the green combo together i just love and it kind of just created a separate vibe and a whole separate space from the rest of it okay so this building is a historic property so there's certain things that you can and can't do with a property as far as renovations um so you'll notice the hardwood flooring is still the original we just patched it up sanded it restained it um but we love that about it we love that it kind of creaks when you walk and it has those imperfections it kind of just adds to the whole vibe um, and then as far as the windows, these this whole wall from start to back was actually all just a brick wall. There was no windows. So we had seen in an old picture that um, they had these windows in and then they must have taken them out for some reason like years and years ago. So we found the picture and we were like, okay, they'll approve of this if we show them the picture of it already existing. So we pitched it, we had to get approval and we ended up getting approved and now we have these huge amazingly lit windows um we have three big windows here which again just helps kind of keep the vibe and the energy up in here rather than low and um even on a rainy day it's super beautiful and peaceful in here so we just were super sold on having these windows and we're so happy we pulled through with it even though it prolonged our move in for like a few months but we'll take it okay so for the arches i guess this whole wall in general um we still wanted to go with the theme of curvature soft edges um so i originally saw like an inspiration pic i think it was on tiktok um or like reels or something and it was actually the whole door frame itself was curved so i showed it to the contractors and they were like oh that might be a little too difficult and just like not suitable for what we have so we decided to do the kind of this sub wall, push it back, and then create this arch on the outside, and then underlay it with um, LED strips, and then also add these nice sconces right here to kind of tie it all together.